What's up, everybody? We're going to talk about the age of Aquarius. I got a special guest with me, the lovely Sistar. She's going to drop a lot of gems about the age of Aquarius and how we're going to heal. So, like, whenever she is on, I'm going to invite her to the live. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get everything straight because I'm about to merge my kinetic powers with her kinetic powers. So other cosmic beings and all of these infinite universes can just come on, spread this message, and get closer to the feeding this demon room alien prison matrix because two or more people, or should I say two or more cosmic beings exposing the matrix and letting people know about our powers is the best thing to do, man. So we're gonna, I'm going to wait for her to get on this stuff. So I could talk talk to it about it with y'all, man. So as we are ready, man. We are ready to talk about the age of Aquarius. Because you want to know why. You want to really know why all this stuff happens in the Matrix. It's because the Demon Room Alien slave owners, man. They do all the indoctrination. They send all their toxic minions to try to put down... Soulful beings, aka beings of innocence from the beyond verse darkness realm, aka chosen ones, aka solar beings, or what have you. Because the Durham aliens, their time is coming up, and the age of Aquarius is showing it, man. This shit, this shit is gonna be very lovely on, on the results. It's gonna be very lovely on the results of what's gonna happen when these Durham aliens slave owners are gonna find themselves caught red-handed by the whole all the universes for doing all the crooked doings man because the doom room alien prison majors man let me tell you something what they do they have all these authority systems all these fucking industry matrix anti-freedom systems never get in trouble for what they do but citizens can get in trouble for for stuff but the authority systems don't get in trouble man the age of aquarius is about to clean out a lot of these d room alien slave owners in this anti-freedom matrix man you can see you can see the hurricane in my eyes you can see the tsunami hurricane tornado in my eyes that's ready to unleash on this shit so it's about time i'm just i'm just i can't wait for you know stud love to get in here so like we can go real real deep on this stuff man because this shit here needs to be talked about this stuff here is very serious it is a must share a much watch message i man like when y'all see her when she get on this live stream she's gonna really drop some gems man i'm telling you bro i'm telling you sis like this whole man like you, you can tell man because like this 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 so-called century that we are living in currently right now i'm gonna tell you man like all the all these empty vibrational agendas that's not a soulful agenda like the whole covid thing and all these uh you know crumbling blood sacrifice rituals that's occurring it's because the Durham alien slave owners are crumbling. They don't know what to do because sulfur beings have caught on. They've been on to what they, they've been doing for years. And now it's coming into play to hit the fan. So I'm just ready for... I'm ready for her to get in here so we can talk about this stuff, man. Because, like, literally this shit needs to be talked about right now. This shit needs to be talked about. Because, man, this stuff is insane. The age of Aquarius going is going to be the era where a lot of freedom is going to be stored. All this anti-freedom, the opposite of freedom. Man, this shit is crazy, man. This shit going to be real crazy for the demon remains, man. This shit going to be bad for them. All these sick ass landlords, these these draconic landlords, all the fucking narcissistic slave owners, they all going downhill. They all going downhill. Cause like I really, 
I really cannot wait to experience these cosmic beings just team up together in the age of Aquarius and just dethrone these slave owners. So I can't wait for the day when that occurs, which is coming real soon in this century. And also all the other timelines that's aligned with the timeline that we are in they're going to be they're going to be saved from the demon aliens and freedom is going to be stored in the other timelines too i'm telling you man but yes like you know all set all set stud love she needs to get up in here i don't know where she at because she just texted me to, to talk about this stuff so i'm ready for her to get up in here so we can really discuss this man because I really want to go deep when she gets on here. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, every time, man, I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, man, she needs to get up in here so we can talk about this stuff, man. Like, seriously. Like, where is she at? But, like, seriously, though, man, this stuff needs to be talked about. I tagged her in the post so I can invite her to this live because this stuff needs to occur, man. This stuff needs to occur, man. It needs to occur. It needs to be talked about with multiple people. You know what I'm saying? And she's very familiar with Age of Aquarius. So this never needs to be talked about and shared. So I'm telling you, man. The results that's going to occur with the age of Aquarius that's going to wipe out all these sadistic energies and everything. This shit is going to be, this shit is going to be immaculate. It's going to be eloquent. It's going to look real ugly for these demon room aliens because all these empty vibrational doings for enslaving citizens, bashing citizens non-physically. In a way of forcing them to pay stuff on time. And if they don't pay it on time, they get kicked out of something. Which is slavery. Which is bullying. In a non-physical way. Because a lot of torture happens in non-physical forms. And when the age of Aquarius is fully aligned with all the Cosmo teams of all soulful ET life forms teamed up. It's going to look real ugly for these demon aliens, man. So, like, that's pretty much what I have to say. But, man, I'm telling you, man, I'll set. She needs to get up on here so we can talk about this, man. Because I really want, I, I really need her voice. I really need her powerful voice to get in on this live stream so we can talk about it. Like, seriously. Man, so, like. So any one of y'all that's watching this video, man, you know, inbox her, you know what I'm saying? Tell her to get on this live stream so we can go and talk about this stuff, man. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to merge powers to defeat this damn matrix with other Cosmo beings. Like this shit is, is, is in for the, it's, it's up for the open. So it needs to occur. And Age of Aquarius is the era to do it. Because the age of Aquarius is the era where we have to remember. We have to remember. And you know Ra. It's a rising falcon. Remember our story. And not go with his story. Which is the demon room alien slave owners made up fabricated empty vibrational story of his story. Fake ass history. So the age of Aquarius is the era of cleansing all the sadistic ores of this damn matrix to be ended so let me tell you something man it's gonna go real deep man i'm gonna take my time with this video here i'm gonna take my precious time you know that you know that dude who made a video that went viral when he talked about i got time today well me i got time today I made time today. I got time. 
I got time cuz I got time to talk about Age of Aquarius that's going to wipe out these demon room alien slave owners that plant all these fucking indoctrinations, all these false ass spiritualities that do nothing but devolve our universes that we soulful beings created. Cuz all the demon room aliens have ever done talking about you know, all these demon, all these, uh, you know, quote unquote, religion guys are in control, but we still got these industry places still open with the indoctrinations. Whoop de doo. We're going to go real uncut on that. You know what I'm saying? These religion guys ain't nothing but demon gen entities that these demon room alien draconian, Darrow and etc. cetera, Maserick slave owners have fucking whipped a lot of citizens into submission to worship these demon gen entities and when the age of aquarius really strikes all these all this false spirituality is going to be wiped out and the true spirituality of thinking for yourself going with self questioning things it will always remain here it's going to be stronger it's going to be established in the cosmos because that's what's been set out already designed by soulful beings lucid dream magic you know what i'm saying I'm telling you, we are ready. We are here. We are here. So, uh, I'm telling you, man. Because this shit here, this shit here, man. When you look back at all the empty vibrational setups that these d room alien slave owners have did. It's all catching up to them now because when empty vibrational toxic beings do a lot of fucking poisoning and indoctrination and a lot of crimes with forcing us to pay stuff on time. And if we don't pay it on time, then they want to make our life a living hell. That these empty vibrational doings that these dear room aliens have set out is going to fucking haunt their ass and it's going to destroy their ass. So we here now. Stud love, get in. Stud love, get in. Stud love, get in. Come on. Yeah. Hey, I'm you here, brother. I say, I say. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I was talking to the people about the age of Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? And like what was going to occur. And like everybody was waiting for you to come in to share your gems about age of Aquarius. So what you got to share to the Cosmo family, my sister? We know it's the divine water barrier. It's flowing. Yeah. Flowing. Within, so without. All your anguish, release. Bring in more love. Out with the old, in with the new. Ashe. Indeed, indeed. It's, 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 and the thing is, I feel like I have to explain more to that topic because I feel a pool. Yes, please do so. <laughs> it's for the take. I say, I say, L. So the subconscious mind and the ego, you know, they question that too. When you're flowing and you feel that, well, what, what? Nine times out of ten, it's your subconscious mind or your ego, and we call those triggers that need to be healed. Ashe. Yes, and let me tell you something too, man. You know, we're glad to have you on here because, like, I feel I felt like you was definitely the the perfect person for this topic. You know what I'm saying? And it was no coincidence to bring this on video. You know what I'm saying? Because merging the powers together, merging mm -hmm. the, merging the powers together, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the age of Aquarius, you know, the age of Aquarius, it's, it's like a lot of cosmic beings is about to merge their suppressed lower self energy with the full power, higher self energy. Mm -hmm. And then we go into our limitless self state and we transform and break more limits and break more limits because we are limitless beings. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like how, you know, Goku, right? For example, as one character, when he fought Frieza. He fought him and he fought him at his full power, higher self state. You know what I'm saying? But when Krillin, when he got mm -hmm. killed by Frieza, mm -hmm. what happened? Goku, he transformed and he went into his limitless self 
which is a state where nothing can really stop you because like you know we cosmic beings are the most powerful beings of the cosmos no nothing empty vibrational can stop us he went in the super saiyan handle freezer you know what i'm saying took care of that, that shit. juice yes, that juice is that, 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 that juice That's right not only is it juicy when you can tap into like something you can use for a phenomenal prime example like that makes it more interesting for someone to not just know. Most of the time, it's a third party. So you want to go to something that isn't a third party search if you really want to get real juice and know that it's not secondhand juice. Ashe. Right. Indeed. And let me tell y'all something too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when we when we like transform into our limitless self, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me tell you something, man. Like, you know, it happens when a lot of empty vibrational slave owners have been doing a lot of a lot of poison to our cosmos and a lot of harm to our other soul family. For the longest, we just snap into our limitless self transformation and we go crazy, right? And let me clear and let me and let me explain this too, man. Like. This is the thing about the age of Aquarius. Like it's the it's the age of like where people where every single being is gonna be, you know, fully like in tune with, you know, true teachings of our story, our re remembrance and things like that. Mm -hmm. re remembrance of the old of our story and you know, the advanced learnings of the new things that we soulful beings are creating. So let me tell for example, you know what I'm saying? You know how we've been taught that by the slave owners. We've been whipped into some well. Yes. A no, lot I was going to say something about that. I represent Ophiuchus, the feminine <laughs> aspect of the 13th zodiac. We are divine. So most of those aspects yeah. of supremacy technically wasn't true. They needed divineness to make that farm and plantation even plentiful. Ashe. Right. Ashe. Indeed. That's why I'm glad I brought you in on here. You know what I'm saying? Merging this power together. Because two or more people is better than alone. That's why soulful beings exist. Shay love. And let me tell y'all something, man. We're going to go in on this one, too. The slave owners, the demon, alien, toxic, narcissist slave owners had tried to plant this idea that everybody is, a.k.a., you know, good and evil. Okay, that's like saying, like me, I would never, I would never be the type of person to say everybody's the same. It, like everybody's a two-faced being because that's like saying like that's like mm -hmm. saying like if everybody's a two-faced being then they basically uh, like universe is going to go into shambles and stuff like that because mm -hmm. you can't play both sides you can't you can't one minute be siding with the, the the free spirited beings aka the chosen ones aka the cosmic beings of innocence from the beyond verse darkness realm and then one minute teaming up with the demon room alien toxic slave owners you know, Batman, the, the character Two-Face, you, you know what I'm saying? The character Two-Face from Batman, mm -hmm. that character is basically a fake being. So, like, you know, saying everybody's good and evil, that's like saying everybody fake. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You got fake people out here, but not everyone's a fake being. Not everyone's a Two-Face being. Every, like, because you got, you, got, you got soulful beings out here who really striving to defeat this demon room alien prison matrix. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, it's just like when Gohan snapped on perfect cell. When uh, you know, sixteen, Android sixteen told him that, you know, you can unleash your fury rage if it's for the right cause, a soulful cause, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause it's nothing it's not it's not bad it's not a bad thing at all when you're taking care of empty vibrational beings, taking out the trash of which yeah. are the empty vibrational beings, you know what I'm saying? So it's like if I unleash my fury rage you know what I'm saying? If I unleash my fury rage on a ding room alien slave owner, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it don't, it don't make me a bad person. Mm -hmm. What it does, like, mm -hmm. really, it, I'm standing up for the cosmos and my cosmo family, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I want, in the age of Aquarius is here for this, too. Ooh, let me tell you about yes. Oh, let me tell y'all about the so-called, you know, uh, masculine feminine energy. See, you know, the D room alien slave owners, they plant this idea that masculine and feminine is male and female gender okay. when it's clearly not. Because feminine energy is like showing love to cosmo beings, caring for them, you know, showing love and, and support. You know what I'm saying? 
And like, you know, masculine energy is like, you know, a warrior energy to protect, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. and this is what the age of Aquarius is going to bring. It's going to bring a lot of enlightenment to every single mass of masses in all the cosmos because like a lot of female warriors were, you know, a lot of female warriors would protect their loved ones going into masculine energy. So that's a clarification. Tree, Greece, Apollo, energy. feminine warriors, Ashe. That's why you have, you have yes. Shiva in her form. And to realm in these aspects that we're in now, there would be no such thing as RuPaul, Ashe. So okay. the judgment yeah. aspect, judgment truly is your intuition. Any other judgment is either your ego or subconscious mind, Ashe. And look, let me tell you about this too, you know, because I made a video about the two types of judgment, you know, saying like, you know, when people go with a non-common sense judgment, like, you know, judgment that's like, you know, that's like indoctrinated. Mm -hmm. So if a person questions a matrix, you know, question the D room alien prison matrix and question everything that been taught that was a lie, where it might be from, a, you know, false spirituality, religion, indoctrinations, or, you that's know, juicy. job mm -hmm. systems. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? All that is coming from gut intuition judgment. It's okay. It's it's perfectly fine to judge if it's coming from your intuition. Now, if you're just judging stuff based off, you know, assumptions, you know when they say when you assume things, you make an ass out of you and me, right? First so, three letters. Yep. <laughs> so, like, you know, I, I got a video about that, y'all. All, all y'all got to do is type in Jules Unit Souls, like, you know, Common Sense Judgment on, on YouTube, you'll find it, you know what I'm saying? And it's good because all the things, all the deep things that me and other soulful beings have talked about and expressed to the cosmos, you know what I'm saying? It's coming to line with the Age of Aquarius video that we, me and Stud Love is making right now, you know what I'm saying? And let me tell y'all something. Mm -hmm. too, you know what I'm Let yourself love. Yeah. Ashe. Yeah. Indeed, man. And I'll tell y'all, man, and I'll say it again, because like when other soulful beings looking into my eyes, whether it's a soulful Namo alien, a soulful you Mike, a soulful Palladian, a, a, a soulful any each life form, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, baby. Like, y'all look at my it. eyes, man. They gon' feel it. You can see. You can see the crystal glow. It's you can the see, glow. You can see everything. You can see all the kinetic powers, you know what I'm saying? All the connected power of the most came out. So glow. Hold the coming to America. Yes. So glow. Indeed. I was just telling you about that yesterday. Did it? It's it's right. It's like ones that are on a whole nother awareness and other realms and aspects, we can see that. Just like when you see my videos. You see my fairy ancestors and my angelic ancestors as well. And when I'm seeing you, I'm seeing your ancestors and your face is lit up in rainbow. So when you're on another aspect with love, mom and Papa Guy are going to show you another aspect of love. So that's why, you know, when we were talking about love, frequencies, vibrations, and energies, sucking food sources, seeing and the unseen as well, my love. So that's yes, we don't get to the has to be unseen. more aware with your third eye open. And that's why, like you said, taking out the trash. That's that's pretty much what we've been doing since we were kids, my love. Like I was light working as a child. I was healing my parents when I didn't even know I was capable of doing it. I would pull energies where I didn't know they were belonging and then yet I'm a child having bad visions and dreams. But to release it every time I went outside to touch the grass. <laughs> it's like it all regulated to us being older and being able to put it all together. Ashe. Yes, indeed. And let me tell you something about it too, man, because like, you know, us cosmic beings, like, you know, this three eyes that you has mentioned, it's our mind, heart, and soul that's, that are like three eyes that's of infinity mm -hmm. and eternal growth to be all knowing to question things. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's why my name you know, is Jules, Unimines, Unihearts. So it's very universal. It's connected with all ancient committed powers 
of science and all the infinite dimension dimensional universes that we soulful beings created you know what i'm saying and there will be more soulful ancient comedics that will be you know brought into existence that's going to keep universes aligned and all the different aliens you know to be erased and stuff like that you know what i'm saying that's what the age of Aquarius is going to come to you know what i'm saying and look, let me tell you about it too about the age of Aquarius. Love, I shake my loves. Always love. Yes. Yes. And let me tell you something too, man. Like, you know, because like the age of Aquarius is definitely going to enlighten, awaken, and aware a lot of beings to, you know, gauge ores before jumping into things. Mm -hmm. So it's like, for example, let's say I'm living in a neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. And I see a group of people that's not really. You know, they're, they're pretty much like, you know, zombies or souls. And if they saw a being that looks unusual, let's say they saw, I'm going to use an example. Let's say they saw a character like Doomsday or a character like, you know, you know, the Living Tribunal or a character like Cell in, in the neighborhood <laughs> where it's a bunch of, you know, mobsters, gangsters, and all this stuff. And if they was to see these unusual looking beings in front of them, they're gonna they're gonna bust at them because in the so called hood, what's programmed is you know you gotta bust you gotta bust you gotta bust at you gotta bust at an M word or bust at a C word or bust at a B word. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what that's the program that's taught by the D room alien slave owners, right? The low vibration, me, of assumption. Small, the low vibration, yes. So, assumption. yes. And look, let me tell you something. Cause me, if I was to see a being like like Sale or Doomsday, or the Living Tribunal, a person, a person that's not that's not ran by ego, you know what I'm saying? What I would do, I would I would I would I would like literally retreat and do some information and research on this Living Tribunal or this Sale or this Doomsday that's popping up in that popped up in front of me instead of just going attack. You know what I'm saying? Giving mm -hmm. in to peer pressure. Mm -hmm you know, by a bunch of mobsters in the hood and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's what smart men do. It, I say. And it's just like, you know, Shao the Hedgehog, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's <laughs> a being that's like, he's called the ultimate life form because he gonna handle stuff and get it done. You know, when the time when uh, Vegeta met semi-perfect sale, you know what I'm saying? He was toying around with him, not finishing business. Even his own trunks from the future told, kept telling Vegeta, Finish the job. Don't let him transform. Don't let him talk you into letting him transform because Cell was getting beat by Vegeta to the point like, if you let me transform, I will give you the best fight of your life. And he let him transform and that ego of Vegeta like, you know, mm -hmm. set everything back. You know what I'm saying? You know, because his future son, he, he, know, the, he, know, the, he know the deal because he's been through a lot of shit, right? So it's like me. If I had the power to defeat a a, a a particular arch deceiver that's like harming mm -hmm. universes, I'm going to get the job done. I'm not going to waste time trying to fucking let them transform and it turns and, and try to bite me in the back later on. You know what I'm saying? It makes the situation more harder. That's something I wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cosmo beings that's like really in tune, that's leveling up, that want to, that's ready to ascend, striving to ascend, they, they'll do that. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something too. A lot of, that's the thing about the thing about the ego inverse and the thing about you know you like being really in tune to like you know strive to bring freedom to our cosmos and mm -hmm. let me tell you something too on this rapid fire information too you know what i'm saying um soulful beings we strive to do good we don't try we strive because it's already mm -hmm. inside us you know what i'm saying we we are strivers we are not triers we are strivers you know what i'm saying that's yes. what we do because when you strive you drive in that bit you know what i'm saying you know, we, we, we soulful beings, we're operators, we're navigators in the cosmos. You know, we navigate our avatars to travel through all these infinite dimensional universes. And when we see angel numbers, right? Because this is what the Ooh, angel of Aquarius wee. is. Yes, I'm about to unleash right Juicy now. Juicy messages um, there. Look, why you talking? Yes. Look, it's, um, it's one minute to 404. See, mm, mm. If so, you four shall, four. Lord. So, oh, shall. we're going to universe 404. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask you a screenshot that that, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Going to the dimensions, you know what I'm saying? And look, let me tell you something. You know, when we see angel numbers, right, these are universes that we go into. Like, for me, my life path number is 21. That's why I go by Cold Shield 21. You know what I'm saying? My, my music YouTube is Cold Shield 21. 
and my and one of my favorite anime uh characters is I Shield Twenty One because he plays a lot of football like me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that was, and that's and that's basically my anime avatar. You know what I'm saying? So these angel numbers, you know, even Dragon Ball Super taught it. You know, the angel cancel, the angel cancel, the angel galactic cancel from all these universes, from universe one to universe twelve. You know what I'm saying? It represents these angel numbers that are that come into our 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 lives to like see and witness and get information and downloads, affirmations, confirmations from the cosmos and all these different universes. So if I see universe eleven eleven, that's like you know what I see on the clock. You know what I'm saying? That's basically an angel number that's like, you know, giving me confirmations, connect the cosmo beings and all the universes because everything is infinite. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the angel of Aquarius is do because all these infinite universes from universe 33, universe 36, universe 55, universe 65, universe 765. All right now, Lord, give us that juice. Ashe. Yeah. Ashe. And like, Hey man, like you, you know, cause like all of these magic powers that we have, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All 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 these magic powers, like when it comes to thunder, uh, crystal, smoke, you know, shadow, um, uh, you know, gravity, you know what I'm saying, magnets, mm-hmm. metal, you know, like you know, all all these kinetic powers like telekinesis, astro realm kinesis, audio kinesis, which is a form to use audio kinesis is a form in music. You know what I'm saying? So all these kinetic powers is a form of magic powers that we cosmic beings have. And we're all going to learn these. We're all going to remember and even advance and learn our kinetic powers so we can defeat these D-Room alien prison matrix I say. That, that's in our universes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's truly phenomenal as you say that so, brother. <clears throat> Knowing that I can astral travel in your beautiful space and heal you to your higher self's consent. And that's what astral traveling means, my loves. If you can go to sleep and be sleep, you can, it doesn't matter how long you've been asleep. If you feel aches in your body that wasn't there before you lay to rest, you did some astral traveling, my love. And that's when you leave your body and go from, you can go to another continent. You don't necessarily have to be in America. That's truly how divine and powerful you are. So as an astral traveler and a divine healer, it is truly phenomenal to take heed in your powers, my loves. Ashe. Yes, yes. And all the Cosmo being the Cosmo family, you know, they're all all the cosmo family are basically like the moon and sun emojis you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so like when we use these emojis like me i always use the moon and the sun right and you notice how the moon and sun always smiling it's because (laughs) it knows that those beings those sun and moon beings know that you know the age of aquarius is going to cleanse all the sadistic energy 13 free birth ashe my love yeah yeah. yes ashe oh i feel it Excuse me, my love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna read some of these comments in this live stream. Um, I love yeah, it. I see, I see, I, what some, I see what I Black Dude said. Mm-hmm. I say thirteen. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying the legends are here. Uh, Nikki, Nikki Jones, Nikki. She said, "Past week, I've been waking up with a headache, like someone hit me in my head when I was asleep." That's a good one now. That's a good one now. Ooh. Now that could be a download she bypassed too. Like you, that's why it's always good to lay there at least a good 20 30 minutes before you move. Yeah. I have experienced that as well, especially as soon as I wake up. Oh, I forgot I did, the, I need to do that oil change in my truck, you know, just around me, but yet it'll just bring a headache instantly because your ancestors had a vision for you that you were supposed to take heed in, and then that headache cause more erosion from the energies. Ashe. It can be more topics. Right. We can we can realm deep with it. But just, just a prime yeah. example from a life experience I have had with getting a vision and just bypassing that vision from ego or subconscious mind and it'll bring on a headache. Ashe my love. Yes. And let me tell you something too, man. Like, you know, 
like not like me, me I actually did a video one time talking about how physical and astral realms are like the same thing. It's getting juicy. Like when you really get in tune and stuff like that, when you get really, really in tune, like you're st you're gonna actually see these astrals in the physical because mm -hmm. like you know that's that's the goal that we cause for beings are striving to do. Good one, Lord. That's you know, very juicy. I share. Yes, because like we can do clairvoyance, multiversal travel, pick up a staff. You know what I'm saying? Use that to travel anywhere in the cosmos. You know? That's why it's you know? good to use your imagination too, my loves. Just imagine a crystal diamond grid covering your aura. This is your protection shield as you astral travel. And this is another topic for Nikki as well. It's it's no telling when you astral travel, it's no telling what, you, what type of entity, energy, vibration, frequency, or energy you're bringing back with you. So... That's right. why it's always good to make sure you have an aura and your protection locked tight before you even rest as well, especially with divine astral travelers. Yeah. Ashe. Yes. And let me tell you something too. Like I got to a Ashe. point where I could literally ask, I could literally ask for travel. Uh, I could literally ask for travel while I'm awake too. Mm -hmm. and that, and that, I, yeah, I'm not man, looking at your eyes, so glow. Yes. <laughs> and look, you know, it happens a lot when I go jogging or running. When I go running or something like that, or, or I'm playing basketball or football, I could literally ask the travel picture picture myself like uh, okay, I'm like I'm like in, in a certain universe where, you know, I might be in contact with a out of bar in a large to be still. You give your mind, body, and soul enough time to be still and then you just shoot yes. like a rocket. Mm-hmm. Right. Cats out the bag. <laughs> but these are truly yeah. phenomenal, my loves. These are, this is how we can astral travel, sleep, or wide awake. We all have it within yeah. us. And I'm glad I did this. I was, y'all know, after Neptune, because my Neptune's in Capricorn. So, yeah. On your stones, on all chakras. I've been spirit led to give mm -hmm. that as well. You have throat chakras, your side in your front and back. You have a mouth chakra. You have ear chakras. I have stones on above my ears. This is moonstone. You know, you Yeah, keep talking to them, sister. Keep I talking to them. Put them on your crown. And like I said, they're all over. All points. You have heart chakras, front, back, side to side. You put the stones on all points, your kneecaps, your ankles. I'm telling you ways that I have learned from experiences the way I can give you this juicy juice today, my loves. This is this is on your guru level. You want to be that phenomenal guru because we all should have clarity. We should not walk around with a question mark in anything we do from tying our shoe to the pink shirt to the stilettos, you beautiful goddesses want to wear. <laughs> Dang, I got a pink shirt on too, man. That's not pink. I'm yeah, you know, the law of the all. So the law of the all is truly yeah. phenomenal. When you can grasp the law of the all, my loves, you are the game changer, the divine alchemist, Ashe. Yes, and, and and it's good you mentioned the thing about alchemists because you see this eye right here. I, you this eye, like the heart and soul eye. Ashe. Yes. Because like your mind, heart, and soul can alchemize any sadistic, uh, soulless energies into mm -hmm. you know soulful mm -hmm. energies. You know what I'm saying? That's what it do. That's why I always wear this necklace all the time. Anytime I go out, I and if I because right now I it's tangled it. up, but once I get this joint untangled, I'm gonna rock that bit. But I always carry this in my pocket everywhere I go. Mm. It even show this in Yu-Gi-Oh because Yu-Gi-Oh even the like first that. I can draw that. About. I'll draw that. You know that's right yeah. up my alley. I like stuff like that, bro. Yeah. Indeed, sister. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Cause let me tell y'all something. Even Yu-Gi-Oh was, was showing the first Yu-Gi-Oh series with Yami, you know what I'm saying? And and Bakura and all that stuff, man. They was showing about the ancient comedic age of Aquarius that's coming to like, you know, in soulless energies too. Okay. So it's like it was very special that we are getting into the age of Aquarius and like things are coming into to play and we're just gonna like manifest 
all of this like freedom into existence and stuff like that too. Right. And this video is very powerful. You got your choice. Choose powerful. love or fear. And we both know fear is false evidence appearing real. And that false evidence appearing real was something you created from your ego or subconscious mind. Yet a descendant of oracles who can decipher time, it's like cartridges you put on a shelf. And when you have one right. thought again, you take it off the shelf and put that cartridge in. And if you allow your mind to flow with that one subconscious mind thought, it'll create more levels to that one cartridge. Instead, yeah. clear it out, release it, diminish that cartridge and be the divine alchemist to create your own video game. That's how I like to put it. Yeah. That's what it's about. You I know say, what Lord. Cause like the video game that we gon' the video game that we social beings are creating is freedom, advanced freedom to be a set, you know, because the because the video game that these DRM aliens has set up, you know, we we cosmic beings are here to break that disc that those that those DRM aliens set up because my once love, we break the three game disc, we can come. Because Age of Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? Age of Aquarius is definitely here because like a lot of cosmic beings from the feline aliens to the canine aliens. To all the mm -hmm. ET celestial mm -hmm. robotic of the reptiles, the mechanoids, you know what I'm saying? You know, every single ET soulful life form in existence, you know what I'm saying? Longitude, latitude. Know, we're here. Like, we're all going to be here from all the angel number universes to like break the game disc that the, the D room alien matrix have made. And like, I'm telling you, man, like, with our powerful lucid dream magic and our word soul magic that we speak through vibration of our expressions. It's definitely coming into play to, to end the Demon Room Alien Prison Matrix, too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm being let to say this good. for any beautiful soul. Say this in the mirror. I no longer shall be a food source to the seen or the unseen. Yes. Dabber, and we're going to get in about the I unseen. Mean, you know, we'll the un tell. authorities. Yeah. And look, the unseen authorities, you know what I'm saying, that, that hide itself and do all these prison indoctrinations, never get in trouble for what they do. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, is these kids, if they're going, you, you pack your child's backpack and lunch and take him off to school to get on that bus. What makes you think the unseen doesn't have schools that teach them how to suck your life force energy? Ashe. Right. Ashe. Indeed, man. And I'm telling you, like all these authority systems, you know what I'm saying? They never been our, they never been our family from beginning. They, like they lied to us. They tell us to go vote. They tell us to do every single yeah, thing. We don't want fear. We don't want fear, my loves. Fear that it should not be no fear because once again, it's false evidence apparent real. It should be a love. So with that being said, everything that needs to be healed is from a false evidence appearing real base aspect. When you put love in front of any aspect that you think isn't beneficial to you, it's going to deteriorate it slowly but surely. As long as you can see it, you can heal it. Yes. Right now, the triggers are coming left and right. Our ancestors ain't playing with it. As soon as you think you're going to sit down and cross them legs and huh, and whiff and drift, you're going to get a trigger, especially if it's time to heal, my loves. Ashe. Yeah. And let me tell you something, too. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you all something, too, man. You know, because, like, you know, you notice how, you notice how we got. You notice how they got the 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 the, the, the symbol, the unk, right? Mm -hmm. When you, like you know, it basically represent you know ancest ancestors, you know, of the cosmos, right? So, like when I mention the word unk, you know, I add you know I add cest stars about with it, right? So you spell A N K H C H E S T A R S, you get unk cest stars. You know what I'm saying? Not even, Google can't even tell you that. <laughs> they can't even tell you that because, like, all this, all that information comes from within the Cosmos. You know what I'm saying? It's in the database of the, the Cosmos verses. And let me tell y'all something, man. Like, you know, what I love about this, you know, Cosmo journey is do is being able to, like, you know, connect with other Cosmo beings mm -hmm. to destroy this new alien prison matrix. Mm -hmm. Because, like, we Cosmo beings, we got love for the Cosmos. You know that we are striving to team up with our connected powers and, and, and bring a lot of love into our cosmos Gosh. by, you know, tapping into that masculine warrior energy to, you know, diminish all the demon aliens out of our cosmos and all their empty vibrational doings because, you know, their time is crumbling and this is definitely up, you know what I'm saying? 
they're definitely paying for all the all the all the drama they cause, all the empty vibrational, mm -hmm. you know, bullying and and all the non physical bashing that they cause. They these be from alien prison. Homes, they have beautiful that. soul to beautiful soul yes. contracting gaslighting, Ashe. Yes, yes, they have bashed us by with all these indoctrinations. They bashed us with you know having us try to pay stuff on time. They bashed us by you mm -hmm. know. Having us like you know put our faith into them, you know when they, all they do is just let let us down time and time again, and we're still like you know in 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 the age of healing, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So like you know the way we cosmo beings will be healing man is like when we team up together to put an end to the different alien slave owners being because a lot of soulful beings like we've been through a lot of things all because of these empty vibrational demon room aliens, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? A soulful beings, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the stuff that these demon room alien slave owners have put us through, you know, all the all the empty vibrational things that they have put us through, you know what I'm saying? In the end, like, you know, all in all, like we soulful beings been aligned with other cosmo beings the whole time, you know what I'm saying? So we never been walking alone. We've been walking with a whole strong armor. We've been walking with divine armor you know what i'm saying that divine god is armor that divine mm -hmm. god armor, great you know what I'm saying? Ashe. so it's like it's definitely it's definitely unleashing well man you know what i'm saying so it's like we we here now we here now man a lot of cosmo beings is tuning into this video i appreciate everybody man because we still gonna talk about this man i got time today because just, like <laughs> just like that dude went viral just like the dude went viral bro <laughs> I got time today because, like, because we're going to talk about that. Plenty of topics to be talked about, so, brother, just like, you know, from the face mask, yeah. the, you know, it's, it's it's very juicy right now. It's a lot of right. stuff that needs to be nipped in the butt, like, and like right. I said, can't stop, won't stop. We, we here, so, brother, we here for our purpose and our reason to shed this light and this love and to walk with grace along the way as we do it, Ashe. Right. And let me put you on game, man. I'm about to show y'all something real deep right here. Hold up. It's the juice, bro. Give us the juice. All, all right, man. Let me show y'all something deep real quick. All right. Ashe, Ashe. All right. day. Let me show y'all something deep real quick. I'm going to break some jewels down for y'all, man. This shit going to be crazy, though. All right. So you see this. All right. You see this necklace right here, right? So the age of Aquarius, like we are here to be like all knowing and comprehend thing. You see this necklace, right? This eye, this eye right here, bro. This eye looks just like the dang Seahawk, bro. And you know what's interesting? That's my spirit animal. You know, I said I fuck with the, I fuck I fuck with the team on a on a spiritual aspect. You know what I'm saying? Because like every single thing, every single teams that y'all see. It's basically like a spiritual meaning, you know what I'm saying? You got the Atlanta Falcons, the Falcon of Raw, you know, the rising sun, the Falcon, this, the eye, the the, the hawk eye, the, the, the eye that's like the mind, heart, and soul, where some people call it like the three eyes of infinity, eternal growth to be all knowing and comprehended. Kaba. That shit is deep, man. Ankaba. That shit is deep. Merkaba. That shit is deep, though. That shit is deep, though, man. Like, you know, when you look at the things that's like, you know, unseen within something that is seen like like a logo you can learn notice a lot of things man starbucks and also the age of aquarius too we gotta get into this man the age of aquarius is also gonna heal a lot of uh divine connections that's you know that that that, that didn't work mm -hmm. out because cosmo beings are now aligning with each other they're aligning We're with each more other. more aware you know? ashe i can admit that because yet uh yeah. I was in a very phenomenal relationship, let me tell you. We roamed in other aspects where the hummingbirds had human faces. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to realm on the aspect of other realms, we're talking truths of love. The hummingbird yeah. gently kissed her on the cheek. Sunset Park in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, we roamed a little further in there. I asked for information about my ancestors, if anyone knows what Nana he is. Beautiful fairies and other realms that help you and have helped our, ancestors, our Cherokee ancestors fight in wars, if you want to get more juice and clarity on that.
but that's some of your ancestors, my love, especially if you're Cherokee and Native. I'm sure you have none to hide. And if you want to research that, research it. Ashe. Right. That's good juice right there, man. Like, as you be saying, man, that's like I be saying, that's real deep Jules metamorphosis talk for the mind, heart, and soul right there. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, a lot of us, a lot of us cosmo beings, like, we are native to all the planets, all the universes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, I like, so even if I never. And let me tell you something, man. We are all native to all these cosmos because every single universe is our home, which is why we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? We, we strive to, you know, get the truth from within ourselves the cosmo realms other cosmic beings that you know that's striving to mm -hmm. be pulled to say this people together. Like, that goes for any race chinese haitian when you cut all of us uh, when you cut each beautiful soul open we bleed red there should be no judgment yeah. we are all as one one love one heart one soul trap family so with that yeah. That was another game cartridge that was supremacy driven. Ashe. Right. Exactly. And let me tell you something too, man, because when you realize that like cosmic beings, like you realize that we are everything. We're 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 a Blu-ray. We're to go, you know, we're we're fucking super powerful Rainbow beings. Rainbow children. Snake. Spiritual beings, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know. We're basically all of this stuff. Like we're we're the people. We're the we're the cosmic beings that can like grant healing to cosmoverse. Mm -hmm. We can bring a lot of we could bring a lot of soulful ETs back to life with advanced life. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? We have those powers. You know, it's just a matter. Of, it's the matter of moment that mm -hmm. are we ready to like strive and do inner child work, aka shadow work, because those demon room aliens. Juicy. They don't want to do that. Juicy right there. Yeah. So, brother, now you know yeah. when you yeah, I'm sorry about it, you have to ask yeah. your travel to give that baby from one to 33, 34, however old you are, is a stepladder in your divine timeline. So, to heal all traumatizing situations, yes, you got to go back to that four, five, six year old, give her a hug and kiss. Feel her space, heal her space. I'll be back to show you love. It's like babysitting your past lives to heal them. I shake yeah. juicy topic, brother. Juicy, you oh, I'm gonna tell you about yourself later. All love, all love. It's very juicy to talk about that one because to truly heal, you have to start with child that child work. And your divine work, because like I said, I don't like labels, but me being a lesbian stud, my masculine was a little more upfront and I was forceful at times. And then I eased my masculine back and wonder why I had a shoulder pain or something. And then my goddess was doing too much divine work. So yet you have to keep both of them balanced to not have any stagnant energy or any stagnant thinking. It's, it's very another juicy topic, brother. Yeah. Right now. All right now. I love it. I love it. And I feel the energy. I feel we getting some understanding. I feel some shifting going on too. Feel some shifts. Let me get your volume, brother. Can you can we hear you? Give me one more beat. Give me one more beat. The volume went out. Like, are we good? Yeah, yeah, you good. It was probably your hand. We good. We good. All right. All right. Like, how long the volume bit out, though? No, just a couple seconds. It was just a couple seconds, like your hand was on it. You good. Okay, good, man. Because what I was going to say, man, like, you know, yeah, a, a lot of uh, my Cosmo family, they have tuned into the live video that I haven't, really, like, really seen, been active in a while. They shifted to the video because, like, this video is so powerful. It's going to okay. connect to them, like, you know, strongly. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, you know, shout out to all the Cosmo beings that I haven't heard from or, like, haven't had a conversation from that's, you all know, deep or fun. Regardless, man, like, we here now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, uh, like, all I, wanted, I wanted to talk about this, too, man, because all the stuff that you mentioned, the thing, you know, everything we mentioned, it all is connected to the age of Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? Because all this stuff is about healing the, the okay. cosmos and stuff like that to get rid of these demon aliens, you know what I'm saying? And let me tell y'all something, too. 
Age of Aquarius also gonna help us like you know learn like the the characteristics and you know the unique abilities of all e extraterrestrial celestial beings, mm -hmm. robotic mm -hmm. beings, all the ET mm -hmm. life forms in the cosmos. Mm -hmm. So you know the, right? the frequencies. There's, there's a lot of beings. So check this out. There's a lot of aliens who look exactly just like me, same skin complexion, but different characteristics, right? Mm -hmm. Now, like you know. This is the thing, like, because there's actual life forms out there that have pink hair, pink eyes, look exactly just like me, but different characteristics, different power abilities and stuff like that. But they're, but if, if they are the soulful beings, you know, any extraterrestrial, any life form being is my cosmic family, regardless of their alien race. You know what I'm saying? They may not be, they may not be, you know, my ancestors as far as like on a biology standpoint, because biology you know what I'm saying? Like, is what the term is like. What if somebody's like the same species as you or some mm -hmm. shit like that, right? Your ancestors. I am you. You are me. That's the law of y'all, and that's how it ought to be. That is the bloodline, yeah. brother. Ashe. Yeah. And let me tell y'all something, too, man. Like, you know, because all the Cosmo families, man, because, you know, I connect with a lot of uh, you mites. I connect with a lot of felines, a lot of the octopus beings, too. You know, I connect with a lot of the fishes, the the bird race, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely connected to birds, owls, hawks, you know what I'm saying? Great owl. I say. Yep, the rabbits, man, they're they're highly intelligent beings too, man. Very mm -hmm. cosmic, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with every single soulful ET life form in the You see how you were talking about the different colors though with our beautiful uh celestial ancestors like that's that's more into another. Now we're talking about another matrix, you know, like the dolphin matrix. Now we're getting real, yeah. brother. We're talking more on where we were on past life timelines. Ashe, yeah. Ashe, and that's interesting too, because I'm gonna tell y'all about it too, man. I'm gonna have a separate video of, you know, talking about you know things like you know things that's like new into existence. I wanted to really mm -hmm. talk about the topic, things about nothing new under the sun because i really would touch up on that because at one point uh, the stuff that's the stuff that that's considered old or something like that and it is not even new it was it was new at one point mm -hmm. like me you know i, I like me before i real before i in this before my third lifetime in my in my two previous lifetimes you know what i'm saying i was once a new soul being that self-created myself into existence i was once a new soul then other lifetimes, you know, I became an old soul being and stuff like that, you know, <laughs> just like, you know, like coming back because that's what soulful beings do. We we always going to be coming back regardless, you know what I'm saying? We can never die out. We only crystallize, well, you know what I'm you saying? You said that, brother, and that's why certain beautiful souls would be doing something and yet to do that same thing again but get confused, man. Ashe, mm -hmm. that's a good example right there. Juicy. Be cause like shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell y'all about this too, man. Cause like in my first past life, you know, I was a female, second past life, I was a male, you know what I'm saying? And a third lifetime, I'm a male again, you know. And the thing about it, for me to experience, you know, being that both genders, give me that in those past life. now, yes. yes. And let me tell you something for me to be, you know, a female one life and the male in the, in the second life. In the third lifetime, I'm a male again. You know what I'm saying? What I had learned, I had learned through, you know, what 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 pleases a soulful male and a soulful female, like emotionally, divine, spiritually, all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why, you know, I was able to experience, you know, both, you know, in in those past lives, you know what I'm saying? Just to have great clarity of like how soulful men and soulful women should be treated regardless of their alien race you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and like the age of aquarius you know what i'm saying it, it can help a lot of old soul beings you know remember their past life and dig deep into everything and have a lot of clarity you know be, just besides uh you know defeating a, a matrix you know what i'm saying just you said and just uh, uh yeah the topic and this is this is another juicy topic i'm sure you've heard it as well my loves the ones that you could just, uh, oh, I'm roaming, I see it. Someone's in a big body of water and it's like you feel a shark coming at you slowly but surely. You have to remember, right. my loves, our past lives, we had ancestors that sacrificed themselves and jumped off the boat. Mm 
or your fear of water could be from a drowning in a past life. The thing is, it's very juicy. If anyone did any research, excuse me, on your Akashic records, your root chakra, but no one isn't going to tell you the real juice. There's another chakra up under your root chakra. Right. It's your earth Indeed. star chakra. That's how you truly get to mama. It's your earth star chakra. Then above your crown chakra is your soul star chakra. That gets you more into your celestial self. Ashe. Ashe, love. Yeah. That's amazing right there. It's powerful, man. Ashe. You know what I'm saying? And like, look, we probably already been like an hour in on, on this live stream. Too. Oh, yeah. You know, and, sacred and knowledge right. runs deep. You ain't going to get yeah. this in no book, baby. And the thing about this phenomenal journey, so brother, is it's, I'm not saying you do the work. The doing the work is going within. But I've always right. been one to run to that classroom. And when I sit in there in history, I'm like, there's more to this than this. And the more I started awakening to think outside of the box I was taught to live in. And I love numbers. So right. you go with what you love. And that's when it's from the snap of a finger, it comes. And it literally comes in and it's coming in hot. But just the juicy topics of thinking outside the box you were taught to live in. Because as soon as you do that, that's the biggest game changer right there. Because we getting stuff that's not in a book. We're getting stuff pretty much right now that's hidden in the Vatican or still buried. There's still crystals that haven't been found. I feel it. so many crystals still haven't been found. I'm here in St. Louis, Missouri, and they have a Missouri stone they're still searching for. Yet we can realm and meditate with our ancestors and burn herbs and they so shall lead the way. It doesn't right. take much, you know, when we use more consciousness in it. Or like you said, brother, so brother, common sense. It's just that juicy, too. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of gym, gym places in, uh, you know, in all in all uh, all the universes, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, like, you know, not Washington, running out. <laughs> yep. Cause like you know Washington, you know what I'm saying it's called the Emerald City, the Emerald State because it's a lot of emeralds out there. Interesting. You know my name, yeah, and my name is like Jules Unisouls in the Cosmo Realm, so which means mm -hmm. like you know Things emerald too. I say. Yeah. Yes, like you know, and I'm very connected with like the emeralds and stuff like that too, because like they always say you always find you always find the greatest gems in the darkness, right? And that's where a lot of gems do be held. It's like held in like, you know, dark caverns. Okay. And, 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 and emeralds, they shine bright. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And the emeralds are, are the Cosmo family. You know what I'm saying? And us Cosmo family, you know, we're like every single element. We're, we're like emeralds. We're fucking fire. We're, we're lightning. We're all that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? We're we created power. You know what I'm saying? Megistus, Hermes, Ashe, Thoth. Yep. So like, you know, all my all my goddesses, all my guys out there, man, you know, you got all the connected powers, man. The age of Aquarius, man. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot to do with every single thing to like, you know, do a lot of healing. So that way you'd be strong enough to defeat these uh demon room aliens out the matrix and stuff like that. And we and we can destroy this anti freedom, mm -hmm. anti spirituality, all the things that's anti of cosmic force, basically, you know? Mm-hmm. And this stuff is like very free flowing for cosmic beings, you know what I'm saying? And like this is what I lo love to do. I lo I love to do, you know, you know, collabs with other cosmic beings because okay. it literally allows me to okay. like, express things on a deeper level than what I would do like off screen. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm pretty love. sure. Love, I say, be receptive yeah. of the of the love. Excuse me, of the love, because once again, there is no judgment. Right. If there's judgment, it's 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 pretty much back to the drawing board. Go stand back in front of the mirror, see if you know that that ear does droop lower than the other, that nose nostril does droop lower than the other. It's just something about self that needs some healing. Yep. That's it. So when we're talking about these things, we don't want any fear-based aspects. Like when someone says, prime example, retrograde. Retrograde is fear. Yep. Retrograde is your upgrade. 
Like it's time Back for you to heal, transcend, and move up. Retrograde isn't nothing to be. Oh, oh, what's what's going on? No, it's it's not even about that, my loves. It's more on your phenomenal journey, Ashe. Right. I'm glad you. I'm glad you. You know, brought that up because that, that's what Agent Warrior was wanting to do. Ashe. Yes. Ashe. Yes, because I've seen a lot of posts where, uh, you know, when folks broke it down about the retrograde, ain't nothing but an upgrade, you know, with your with your transformation. So, you know what I'm saying? Every time. I'm glad you cleared it up, man. Yes, that was definitely needed, man. Oh, and like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of Cosmo beings and all the Cosmo verses, man, you know, they gonna share this video. And let me tell y'all something about the Age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius is gonna allow every single cosmic being to realize that social media is basically a universal platform in the cosmos that all extraterrestrial celestial robotic beings anthropomorphic beings you know can all join together and just like merge a lot of cosmic mm -hmm. information hey, and to bring a lot of love a lot of cosmic talent transmute the facebook page to the yes Ashay. and let me tell y'all something too man because like let me tell y'all when it comes to me like my meditation man my meditation is like a form of music making like when i make music Ooh. i meditate i levitate that's a lot of sensation, man. I even educate myself through music yeah. by connecting with other cosmic beings, and they get to know, they get to learn about my personality through that. That's one of the talents that they can learn about me and my personality through, you know what I'm saying? And I learn yeah, other wow. people's personality through their talent. I say, I love it so, brother. It's pure motivation, and I think it's phenomenal how we literally met through another soul family member. Is this right. Sahil? Shahil? Oh, just it's just how it all went along. If you see a vision of, like I said, thinking outside the box, you were taught to live, and, and there's there's more. I feel more, and exactly. just that ad, the friend request, and it just went from there, didn't it, so brother? We just took it from there with love. It it ain't no stopping. It's like a constant flow. Just that right, and it's all natural too. Me. Let me tell you something. Cosmic beings, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we we naturally align ourselves with each other through the things that we post, like the things that we manifest. So like we post a, a very Man. talented thing, the cosmo beings will gravitate to it, you know what I'm saying? And it's just amazing, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, all of us cosmic beings, you know, we're gonna we're we're definitely gonna physically link up together to defeat this matrix. Like one day I can already see that, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what's bound mm -hmm. to happen, you know what I'm saying? The age of Aquarius just allow us to know that, you know, w like we cosmic beings, you know, we're we're meant to align it with each other. Like all the stuff that we have have grew through as as a child, you know what I'm saying. And as we get older and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. We connect with our cosmic family on social media, and it just like have us be like, wow, we grew through all this stuff as a child. In, in the matrix and like you know just be able to team up with other cosmic beings to be able to like you know go at full power and beyond mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's just an amazing feeling because like i'm gonna tell you man during my childhood like it's just amazing how I look back and look now you know as i'm making this video and just see all the cosmic beings mm -hmm. that i have never met in person or some of that i might have met in person and it's just amazing feeling you know what i'm saying it's just amazing feeling it's yeah. that it's that chill great vibrant feeling I it's a vibrant you somewhere before yes ashe never seen him before yeah. in this life but when you see him and just get to talking it's just like that vibration you've known and felt for generations and centuries ashe so family that yeah. feeling when you feel so family it's it's truly phenomenal because at the end of the day when you were born here, you, you pretty much signed a contract. That's the contract you signed. That technically does not mean that is your soul family. That could be your test. <laughs> yeah, let me tell y'all something. I wanted to break that down too. I wanted to break that down too, man. Cause like the eight of Aquarius, like it basically allowed like uh because I actually break down the different types of uh, you know, families y'all have. So you got biological, you got biological, then you got you know soul family. Right? Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go deep on this, man. Um, now you will have different type of family members. You got the, you know, you got the family, you got the biological family that you know, that 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 come from an ancestry line that mm -hmm. don't question everything, right? Mm -hmm. And this is true because every not everyone has the same ancestors. Because if that was the case, everybody would be aligned with each other. 
you got you got the ancestors who you know they are very demonic. You know they want to indoctrinate. Then you got the ancestors who never question anything. Then you got the soulful ancestors. Like you know, okay, so you see a, a biological family member. You know what I'm saying? You know if they're like an average Joe or a plain Jane that don't question anything. Now mm-hmm. there's people who are not deep at all, and like you know, and they're just kind people. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of those. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of biological family that's just kind people, but they're not really deep beings. Mm-hmm. Because they come from that, the ancestor lineage mm-hmm. that don't question anything. They kind of follow the okie doke. So then you got some biologicals who come from that slave, the the demon alien, narcissistic, toxic, you know, mm-hmm. slave owner tree that you know that that want to prevent the soulful beings from striving to bring freedom into the cosmos versus that mm-hmm. that that basically defeats this artificial light illusion. And I'm gonna tell y'all something too, man. You know, y'all can't really blame, you know. You know what you've been taught by these, you know, slave owner gurus. You know they've been trying to teach that mm-hmm. uh, the universe will, like put you through hell, and that's not that's not true because in reality, you know the slave owners, you know that they came into the existence. You know what I'm saying? They basically like you know they they basically like to and try to make their life like hell by you know putting you know all these empty vibrational beings in our way that don't that don't match our Gosh. our frequency. And we soulful beings grow through that, and the universes, the universes grant us these soulful beings in our life to, you know, strive to like, you know, create more heaven in all these universes because we we can create this heaven to end this hell that these demon sure. alien slave owners have been putting out. You know what I'm saying? So like that's like for me, I don't never really blame universes for, uh, you know, you know, putting these because I know the universe is not doing that. That's basically these uh, slave owner tyrants because slave owner tyrants, where the demon room aliens or some people call them uh, gas lighters or empty seeders or uh, basically narcissists, you know what I'm saying? You know, basically toxic slave owners, the toxic slave owners, they put these, you know, empty vibrational beings in your life to make you to, to make your life like, you know, hell and stuff like that, mm-hmm. where it might be an indoctrination system, false spirituality, every single thing, you know, every single thing that doesn't every single thing that's the opposite of freedom basically you know what i'm saying so like you know that's 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 one thing i talked about before man like you know we here now man we we here now you said the mind is very powerful everything around us was created from one of another of a beautiful soul's mind so that's another reason why it's just it's phenomenal to walk with grace. Just be grateful and transmute. Yeah. Yes. You don't want to look at any fearful aspects of anything if you're already on guard and know what you're supposed to be doing. Like it's just that exactly. so when we're talking about these topics about, you know, lower low vibrations, frequencies, and energies of the unseen or the seen, it should be just head on warnings to know you know what you're looking for now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Ashe. Yep. Ashe. Let me tell y'all something too, man. You know what I'm saying? I One thing I learned, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the thing about this, uh, basically, I know it's just a difference between empty vibrations because I mentioned that a lot in this video when I was talking. You put your hand on it again, brother. You got your hand on the flight. All right. Yeah, we good. We and good, bro. All right. So, y'all, so check this out, man. Um, Yeah, when it comes to these, you know, I learned that, you know, it's a difference between low vibration and empty vibration. You know, it's an empty vibration was pretty much, you know, like depressing, basically. Um, mm-hmm. You know, low vibration, you know what I'm saying? basically like you know people a lot of cosmic beings they can operate in low low nature and high nature right because you can't have low nature without the high the high without nature without the low so it's kind of like this right i kind of learned this shit through some simple shit now everybody probably know where i'm going with this now the low nature is basically like the lower self like suppressed energy you know mm-hmm. like when i'm around beings, like if i'm around beings that don't really get it as much and they kind of like go the matrix. I'll probably come in like a low suppressed nature. I ain't gonna come with no high power, full power, higher self nature because, you know, you don't want to waste, you know, a lot of gems with, you know, 
average Joe or plain James that don't get it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's kind of like this. That's right? juicy too. Low bottom bro. That's juicy. Yeah. Cause it's like this. Cause it's like a Dragon Ball, right? So like I learned the thing about power levels. Like you know, lower your um, like you know, you learned that you know to suppress your power level to hide your true power. So you don't get sense because when you operating at a full power level, you could be felt. You know what I'm saying? You could be felt. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like you know. And then, you know, that's what that's that's what makes your high power, my love. It's just like I said, when you put that 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 diamond, crystal, golden grid around your body, and that's how powerful you are. You can expand right. it. So with that being said. You can be invisible out here, yet right. still walk with love, Ashe. Right. So it's indeed just it's beautiful beings out here to help you get to that level. So there should never be a fear-based aspect when everything is of love, Ashe. Right, and that's the thing too. That's the reason why uh, a lot of soulful ET life forms exist, and because every single ET life form. You know what I'm saying? Is here to, you know, help each other with different abilities. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So whatever ability that you might learn from that alien, you can learn from the other alien. You can learn from alien C and, and like, you know, mm -hmm. teach something to alien Z. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's just like go all in a circle. You know, it's like all, it's like an everlasting, like, you know, level up for each other. You know what I'm saying? I taught some aliens. Some things, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, so brother. Ooh, that's you know what? I'm glad that happened again because that was one, two, three, and I don't like that. The vortex. Yeah. When someone's talking, and that's mm -hmm. even with beautiful relationships, my love. Ooh, let me I feel it. I mean, huh. When you're talking, allow them to mm -hmm. flow. Because nine times out of ten, it's a divine message for you. But if you're so intrigued to give your point across, how are you going to be able to receive that divine message? So at times, it's on my YouTube page, I said, I said, Tien, Lovey 33 where respecting the vortex of another beautiful soul, especially when you know what's coming out, you'll feel it, and you'll know it when it hits your ears and the sound waves of a divine message just coming through. Even if it's something small, well, did you brush your teeth today? You know, it's it's just that simple when it's a divine message flowing through. But excuse me, so brother, did not mean to disrespect that vortex love. Allow it to flow. You're good. Ashe. Yeah. Yep. I tell you, man, like shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we hear the uh, birds, the gems and stuff like that. So like, you know. To tell y'all about what you know, EP life forms, you know, they teach each other abilities. That's that's what it that's what it's about. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You know, basically Goku, he learned Kyle Ken from King Kai. Went to Yard Rat, he learned instant transmission. Vegeta went to Yard Rat, he learned he learned spirit control. You know what I'm saying? So you can learn a lot of things from different species. That's why so many E. T. life forms exist. You know what I'm saying? You can learn a lot of things from each other. You know, I taught some life forms, some things that I, I I I did. You know what I'm saying? Even if they couldn't learn the same, you know, transformation that's kind of like only unique to my species, but like they learned some other things that you know, as far as like connected power abilities. Because you know, because on my Facebook I got spiritual being transformation. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like you know got different forms of that, but um, you know, I'm tell y'all, man, like. All right, we there, we, we life forms, man. We all we okay, ET life forms. Golden we rainbow over there, there, bro. I yep. See ya. I should yeah. love nothing but pure love. Right, but man, like shit, like I tell y'all, man, like you know, to wrap this up, man, like you know, yeah. And this this has been a great cosmic session for like each each single soulful being to like learn about the age of Aquarius. And what I was last gonna say on this vid, you know what I'm saying, like thing about the word spells too, man, like you know, this is kinda like, you know, to clarify things on y'all, man. Like the age of Aquarius is gonna help y'all to be all knowing, comprehending things, mm -hmm. get clarity on everything. Gosh, it's crazy too, man. Like, you know, the thing about, you know, when it comes I learned this too. Like, you know, I used to I used to like say the word on uh, relationships and stuff like that myself. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Back back, you know, before I learned about word spells and all this stuff. Gosh, man, like I learned that the word topic. relationship. Yep. Cause I learned the thing about uh relationship. It means like ship away of a connection. Mm-hmm. And it and and it, and, it, and like when you use the word like divine connection, mm-hmm. it like strengthens things together, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I'll be using like the word divine connection, like, you know, when it comes to people, beings that are like uh, you know, as in like emotional attraction connections, they be in these, you know, divine connections. You got divine connections where it'd be like twin flames and triple flames, where it's like on some polygamy type thing. Or then the other connections like, you know, friend connections, all this stuff, family, you know what I'm saying, soul family, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Soul family basically like soulmates. Divine connection. Divine connections like triple flames and twin flames and triple flames. However, more people don't like talk about the triple flame. flames. So, brother, we're gonna have to get juicy one time for the main vine about those triple oh. flames, baby. Those yeah. the ones that you had when, like, we talk about sacred knowledge and scraps. You'll get a lot of beautiful mm-hmm. souls that are a deity of Nephthys or Set. Right. You know. Ashe, it's a very juicy topic, so brother. Indeed, you know what I'm saying. So, like, you know, I just like, you know, this was a great build. You know what I'm saying. Like, we we all gonna like, you know, have this be remember remembered. You know, it's gonna it's gonna go well, man. Hey. So, peace out to everybody who who came across this video, man. Share it. This will be on YouTube, man. I'll link the YouTube link in the comment section, and we can go from there, man. Peace out to everybody. Peace and love. All right.